Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday, November the 23rd. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 23, the first note continued. Humility confesses that we have nothing that we have not received and admits the fact of our insufficiency and our dependence upon God. It is the basis of all Christian virtues. St. Bernard of Clairvaux said, No spiritual house can stand for a moment except on the foundation of humility. It is the first condition of a joyful life within any community. Heavenly Father, you are always pleased to show yourself to those who are childlike and humble in spirit. Help us to follow the example of our blessed Father Francis, to look upon the wisdom of this world as foolishness, and set our minds only on Christ and Him crucified, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all glory forever. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is the first part of Psalm 106. Alleluia! Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can declare the mighty acts of the Lord, or show forth all his praise? Happy are those whose act, happy are those who act with justice, and always do what is right. Remember me, O Lord with the favor you have for your people, and visit me with your saving help, that I may see the prosperity of your elect and be glad with the gladness of your people, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned as our forebearers did. We have done wrong and dealt wickedly. In Egypt they did not consider your marvelous works nor remember the, abund the abundance of your love. They defiled the Most High at the Red Sea. But he saved them for his name's sake, to make his power known. He rebuked the Red Sea, and it dried up, and he led them through the deep as through a, as through a desert. He saved them from the hand of those who hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered the oppressors. Not one of them was left. Then they believed his words and sang him songs of praise. But they soon forgot his deeds, and did not wait for his counsel. A craving seized them in the wilderness, and they put God to the test in the desert. He gave them what they asked, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses in the camp, and Aaron, the Holy One of God. The earth opened, and swallowed Dathan, and covered the company of Abram. Fire blazed up against their company, and flames devoured the wicked. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. People were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. 
But Jesus called for them and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. A certain ruler asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. He replied, I have kept all these since my youth. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, There is still one thing lacking. Sell all that you own and distribute the money to the poor, and then you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. But when he heard this, he became sad, for he was very rich. Jesus looked at him and said, How hard is it for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God? Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard it said, Then who can be saved? He replied, What is impossible for mortals is possible for God. Then Peter said, Look, we have left our homes and followed you. And he said to them, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God who will not get back very much more in this age and in the age to come eternal life. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. We begin our prayers this day for the Church throughout the world. For the Anglican Church of Canada. For the province of Rupert's Land. For the Diocese of Brandon. Especially on this day where we are going to do our best to gather virtually in Synod. We pray for this parish of St. Matthew. Let us ask the Lord for a day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, have mercy. We pray for the world. We pray today for those who are suffering because of warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, the Ukraine, and the United States. Let us ask the Lord to teach us to love others as he has loved us. Lord, have mercy. We pray 
for those in the world who will this day suffer from the effects of prejudice or systemic racism. Those who will be seen as an, as an outsider, as less than, as a threat, simply because of the color of their skin, their manner of dress, their customs, or their faith. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice in the world. Lord, have mercy. We pray today for those who are suffering because of illness, or poverty, or homelessness. We pray for those in our hospital or our nursing homes, those awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, isolation, or poverty and homelessness. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve those who are in need. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to renew the church through the power of his life-giving spirit. Lord, have mercy. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray today for the European province, for Southeast England and London, for Central South England, and for Kate, Diana, Marlene, Anderson, Tilden, Steve, Stephen, David, Pam, Milan, Ed, Shane, Elaine, Carolyn, Catherine, Gordon, Piper, Marnie, and Jerry. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, our Lord and King. Grant that the peoples of the earth, now divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his gentle and loving rule, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May our blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May the Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.